Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a very special episode of Darkness Falls, the final episode of Darkness Falls. It's a lovely day, 700 here, um, and I'm just sort of chilling outside. <laughs> uh, a wandering horde just passed by while I was putting the finishing touches on the horde base here, although, yeah, admittedly, I haven't painted it, which is which is terrible, but uh, I figured this was too much of an opportunity to give up. Holy crap, look at that monster. He's heading towards my dart traps, the little bastard. I'm going to have to try and pull him away. Hang on. Yeah, welcome to... Oh, I think I hit the... Oh, oh crap. Yeah, no, he's, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Maybe he's not as tough as I originally thought he would be. He's pretty tough. Yeah, I'll take it back. Threw him in the dick with an M60, a laser machine gun, and uh, that is an awful lot of hit points he's got there. He is getting stuck. He got stuck. A little bit stuck. It's fine. It's fine. Yes, welcome to uh, day 700. Uh, welcome to laser technology as well. Not the introduction I had planned for laser technology, but uh, it'll do nonetheless. Um, I've given myself basically a bunch of tech that I thought was only fair given the. Uh, <laughs> the difficulty that is rammed up at day 700. Uh, level... I've forgotten. What level level am I? I like Spike. Uh, level a lot. 187. And I figured, like, okay, well, let's, um, let's do some... Let's do some testing here. At level 187, day 700, what kind of gear would I have? What kind of base would I have? Um, you know, these are the questions. These are the questions. If I was to spend the time doing this for real <laughs> what would we have by now uh well i've made some modifications to the base as well first of all before we go through that what i have on me is my laser sword as always this is exactly the same laser sword actually because it's level 68 it's the same same guy but i have put a blessed metal mod in it um it's because i've got the nicad battery in it as well we have a laser rifle which is a sniper rifle configured as such with an eight times scope silencer blessed metal rad remover Oh, Toby's Balancing Act, which is a very rare uh, mod, but I thought I'd treat myself. And a rechargeable battery as well, which is very good. Uh, we've got a laser carbine here with advanced magazine, rechargeable batteries, blessed metal, rad remover, and a reflex sight. And of course, the M60, which I was just using there with blessed metal, rad remover, a muzzle brake, a bipod, rechargeable battery, and a magazine extender. And finally, the shotgun, laser shotgun, blessed metal, rad metal, reflex sight, triple M, rechargeable, stock, and a choke. Um, just to give it some extra oomph, oomph. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the only other thing I've given myself is a set of power armor, uh, which is kind of necessary at this point, I think. And uh, that's it, really. Oh, and some paramedic kits. Now, there you go. That's me. That's the gear I'm holding. Um, see how much damage this freaking sniper rifle does, dude. It sounds silly, but... Not enough. Well, we blew up a titan's head with a shotgun, so I'll take that. That's pretty good. All right, so these weapons are very powerful, which is going to be very, very helpful, considering what is about to come for us. Considering that's a wandering horde. Now, sometimes the wandering hordes do have a little bit more nasties in them than the regular hordes, but uh, I assume that's pretty much what we're going to be getting on Horde Night. And as you can see, I have not upgraded absolutely everything to uh, titanium. A lot of it is still actually concrete. Right, base then. Now, um, first of all, let's start down here. There is a pit of doom now. I have increased the pit of doom uh, to include a bunch of steel spikes layered on top of them and three layers of steel spikes there. Uh, so anything falling down from the filter there will now take damage. Now, those spikes won't last very long at all, but then, you know, whatever. And then eventually they'll... They'll probably, I, my prediction for this is that they will destroy the spikes and destroy the stairs on the way up. And then they will eat through the wall somewhere and come out somewhere up here, I don't know. But they will get stuck underground and it will take them the entire horde night to dig themselves out. So there's that. Uh, right, so then you might have noticed as well, the roof here has been extended all the way along here. And that's because I have now completed the circle. The base goes all the way around. The base goes all the way around. Uh, and then up here, we've got, as you can see, laser trip wires and 
blade traps all along here. So the new killing floor, this section here, uh, is hopefully going to be doing an immense amount of damage. Now, as uh, when we were in there last time, we couldn't reach these blade traps, so I have addressed that as well. Each of these electrical wire traps is a titanium wire trap, so they do have extra durability, and of course the titanium blade traps up here as well have extra durability. Uh, and then you've got these two guys here as normal. And now I've changed the front here a little bit, so um, the zombies have a better chance of falling off the sides. Uh, rather than the pipe, they should probably get, get knocked off. Um, so some of them will fall off of that, some of them will walk along it fine. Punchy will do the rest, as Punchy so normally does. He's the MVP. And then I've got a double vault hatch set up here. Now, I did play with a solid wall set up here. So I had bars across the top and the bottom. But that really upset the pathing of the zombies. And they started just hitting on the walls everywhere and everywhere. They, they decided they couldn't get to me. So I had to put the hatches back in. I'm uh, worried about these hatches just because of how many, how little hit points they have compared to, say, a piece of titanium. You know, they have like half the hit points. So, uh, yeah, this is this is worrisome. I figured if I have two, then hopefully the damage will spread across them depending on where I stand, right? I could I could flick and flatter across the two. There's a double bar at the top here that hopefully will stop them crawling through that gap. Um, but if they do, I'll be ready for them. Anyway, the inside of the base, for the most part, on this side has not changed at all. We've still got the two generator banks and everything is wired in from those. Hello? I've got parkour now, which is making things a little annoying because uh, I keep hitting the ceiling and bouncing off. I don't know where that guy went. Hey! Hey! Bitch. Stop there and attack my freaking... I'm stood right here. Anyway, where was I? Right, yes. So this part of the base hasn't really changed at all. This is all pretty much the same, apart from these are Mark II shotgun turrets. Um, but through this door here um, is a lot of changes. We've still got the same wire traps here, and I, I don't think I upgraded... These are not upgraded to titanium, actually, so I need to keep an eye on those. Uh, but as you can see, this is quite extensive um, through here. We've got some workbenches there's a lot of empty space here and then we've got uh the dart traps at the back there okay um and then the access around the other side or oh, it loops all the way around i should say it loops all the way around and then you've got another vault hatch and more titanium uh wire traps and stuff there and then that's just there we go so we have a few sort of Big honking doors to. Hello, big fella. Not even odd night. What are you doing here? Oh, that. Hurt. Did he die? Or is he going to loop back around again? Son of a bitch. Yeah, that is one of the... They, I think that is the single hardest zombie in this version of Dida's Falls, so... Um, although I did see Kane's new work, new demons that he's bringing out. It's going to look awesome. Anyway, yeah, I have set up some CTV, CCTV. I'm not quite sure how that one's working when none of the generators are on, but uh, I turn on... I think it's the darts I need to turn on. Then these other guys should... That's interesting. Why are you not working? You must be damaged. Right, so that's a good opportunity to show you the next bit of the base, really. Uh, let me get the materials. I need some titanium here. Um, I think that's all I need. So upstairs is basically designed as a anti um, succubus section i have lots of space here with bars on the top here i've got some safe area over here to take cover from and it basically gives me a whole other layer of protection from where i'm stood down below now in terms of the blade traps here when i need to repair them i do need to come outside and uh, access these doors 
There we go. And I can even reach the ones over there. They're not damaged at the moment, so that's good. And then I just tuck myself back inside again. Uh, on the roof again. So for whatever reason, I do need to come out onto the roof. I've got three Mark II shotgun turrets here. I need to fill them with AP rounds and then they'll be ready to go. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I've put some nice safety railings up here to stop myself from falling off the edge. <laughs> this is inevitably going to happen at some point. And there we go. Oh, the only other thing is uh, down here are three Mark II Steel AK-47 turrets firing uh, Steel 762 rounds into the back of the zombies there. And thanks to that little uh, outcrop there, they can't sh they can't shoot me. So uh, that's uh, part of the surprise signal logic. That one. Okay, let's get some AP shotgun rounds for those turrets up. And then, uh, based on my watch in the bottom left corner there, is 6.06, so we have a little bit of time before day 700 horde starts. Guys, I'm fully expecting this base to absolutely fail, by the way. <laughs> Just to manage some expectations. Straight off the bat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's probably going to fall on its ass. But we shall see. Hopefully not. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah hmm. We shall see. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me sort these turrets out, and then we'll uh, we'll get Horde Knight underway. All right, we're about ready. I've just quickly changed that from the slope that I had because I, I realized Punchy was just punching it repeatedly into the uh, into the side of the the block there. So I uh, just went for a double single kind of corner bar, I guess. Bar is what we'd call it. Um, anyway, here we go. Let's, uh, oh, and I've doubled up the, the hatches at the front here just as an extra fallback. Let's see what happens here. We'll just monitor the old CCTV. And they're dropping down into the pit, and we've definitely got radiated bear moths. Demons everywhere, Jesus Christ. Uh, they're looking a little confused, I've got to be honest. They are looking very confused. What the hell is going on? There are problems with these blocks before. I don't know what's going on with them. Yeah, slowly figuring it out, I think. Maybe. They're hitting on that. Hitting on that pillar. I think I, I'm worried I might have um, confused them with the changing the blocks around. Oh shit, that's a succubus. No, it's not. A regular bird. Oh, that's a noise, isn't it? <laughs> that's a noise. Apparently, I come in, into this room and they get really confused. I, I, I'm not sure what uh, what's gone wrong here. Oh god, look, they're climbing. I did not expect that. Get you back up in uh, full health there, Mr. Playtrap, sir. Blocks are looking a bit ropey. Oh my god. Oh, 
24 hours and the frame rates being absolutely catastrophic right now and the base for whatever reason not quite working for some reason these blade traps are doing an absolute number right for some reason the blade trap noises have stopped uh, one of them has been destroyed. Ow! You get cheeky beggars. Right, we're moving on to the next one now then. Oh my god. Nuts! I don't mean more than them, I think. <laughs> oh boy, this isn't so much a, uh, a trap door kind of horde base anymore, is it? Ow, you bastards. It's more of a kind of hit them from above with everything we got. <laughs> I'm really sure fire is going to do much to these sons of bitches. Alright, I gotta check. Oh, don't you even think about climbing up here, sunshine. I didn't even consider that. These things might just be a tall enough to get over that. <laughs> this is a hatch door to hell, that is, isn't it? Oh shit, that's a bird. Demonic bird. Hey, night. Get back down there. I wonder if they'll actually start making their way through if I stand here. I don't know. Certainly, if I go through here, they all start suddenly grouping around there. They look, they're turning around. They're getting really confused just by being in this room. Everywhere else seems fine. They are definitely getting stuck around there, though, aren't they? Go upstairs. Freaking frame rates, man. <laughs> frame rates are down. Open the hatch to hell. Bear that and close that. Oh, that was close. Get at me, you stupid bird. Don't suck you by it yet, fortunately, but uh Jesus, these things are big. Ninety thousand hit points. Right, when the blade traps have stopped making noise, that's slightly worth concerning. Hi guys, bye guys. Hey everybody. <laughs> oh my lord. Keep you running, keep you running. Keep you running. I didn't think I'd be up on this roof so much. Honestly. I also didn't expect that. This is freaking insane.
think I worked through 90,000 hit points even with a laser M60. Ow, 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 ow. That is a ridiculous number. Hey, sweet cheeks. Come on, come on, no freaking one more hit, two more hits, you're down, you're deleted. No more of those, please, game. I don't fancy them. Should probably check my wire traps next. I'm not hearing any sounds of like short circuits. Ow. I wanna get rid of this guy. I feel like if I get rid of those guys, everything will start flowing reasonably well. Jesus. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, we knew she was going to turn up. I have no idea where her he health pool is right now. I don't even feel like I'm shooting her. I am pulling the trigger. God, she is such a beast. So many hit points. I got three shotguns blasting her right now. Plus, I'm holding down a trigger on an M60 laser gun. On a freaking crotch. He's still airborne. Oh, Jesus. Everything is just such a bullet sponge. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Oh, there's another one as well. Another one just come up. And a bird. Come on, die already, will you? Finally, Jesus. One succubus down. I gotta kinda I can't really go out and repair things well. Oh she's up there. Unfortunately, uh, I think the uh, the bars are holding her. She's not firing any like more rockets at me, which is always nice. Or whatever, whatever they bloody fire at me anyway. This is the insanity of high-level darkness walls. Bingo! Another one down. Right, let's get and repair these freaking blade traps for the uh, the crowd. You need to. Shit, there goes a block, look. I got some replay. Oh my god, hello boys. Let's get that blade trap back up and running. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're very clever, aren't you, with all your freaking bombs and stuff. I'm hearing short circuiting. Yep, that's short circuiting wire traps. Let me get back downstairs. The frame rates, dudes, the frame rates are bad, man. Oh, I left that door open. I really shouldn't have left that door open. Well, this will confuse them for a bit. They don't like me being in this room for some reason. Right, you guys are repaired. You're not even damaged. None of them have actually managed to get to the door yet. They're all just stuck on the blade traps. Right, let's have a little look. See, I do apologize for the frames, everyone. <laughs> There's not really much I can do about it right now. The darts are down to their last thing. Right, let's get ready to repair these guys then. We need four sets. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Unlock. One, two, three. Relock. This is less of a kind of direct action horde night, isn't it? And more of a kind of maintenance and repair horde night. Got to keep on top of it. Otherwise we would very quickly be overwhelmed. 
I don't I can't imagine these darts are doing much at this level of uh, of mob, you know, but Right. Go have another look at the blade traps again. I gotta stay on top of those. Like a lot. Look at that door took a hammer in. Hey everybody, how you all doing down there? Fancy some more blade trap wonderfulness? Yeah, uh, okay, and they got rid of that block again. At the same block. Jesus. A bear coming through the, the hatch. There's another bloody block. Oh, there's an incubus. Come on, I'm right clicking. Just give me, give me, yeah, there we go. Oh, well, there's another one. <laughs> oh, shit. Succubus! I need to get out of it. I can't tank, face tank the succubus. The frames are so severe. We're right at the freaking crotch. This is an awkward view of a succubus, here it is. <laughs> Three armor piercing shotguns are freaking hitting her as well right now. So many hit points, even with laser weapons, so many hit points. These guys are piling up on there. I did not expect this. Honestly. That's a very random thing to happen. We've got another big ass demonic bear moth there. Ah, don't be another succubus, please. Yep. Another one. Shit. Get my ass kicked here. Oh my god. Can we take it easy with this succubi, please? They really lock me indoors. Good. Morning is here, morning is here. Now I assume firing off laser weapons. It is all the same as firing off regular weapons. Let's get rid of this big fella. Boom. My God. Now worried about infinite screamer hordes, of course. <laughs> as is, as is, as is tradition. You guys suck. Oh, you are not supposed to be up here, hell there. Oh my god. These guys are alright. What is that? That's icon on the on the left there that looks like an Andrax symbol. Infected with something. We need to turn off the guns. 
Ah, too late. I just heard a screamer. So many hit points. Get in the pit. Go on, enjoy the pit. Nobody's been really enjoying the pit today. Very disappointing. My god. It's gonna be one of those horde nights that never ends. Let's go and repair those blade traps. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. <laughs> Screamers. Screamers everywhere. Hey, guys. How you doing? All right? Back in you go. <laughs> it's like opening that to hell. It really is. Oh, my God. Put that block back. I throw my own explosives, you know. I don't know whether I got her before she screamed or not. Um, judging by that one over there, I'm guessing not. Well, hello. Whoa. Oh, shit. Hello, fella. Okay, yeah, just, um, can you come back later? Is that all right? It's just I don't have any appointment slots right now. Terribly sorry and all that. Oh, fuck it out. Jumpy son of a bastard. Come on, just frickin' die already. Come on, man. Jesus, the hit points. The hit points are severe and crazy. Whoa. I don't even know how much damage you did to what, but I know he did. I mean, it's suddenly gone very quiet. I'm instantly sus about. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Sus. Where is the bitch? He's got eyes on. No regen for you. Get at it here. That it? Are we done? Did we win? <laughs> I think we might have, you know. Oh, this is this is a tricky, this is a difficult one. This is a difficult run. Oh my god, the damage along here. That was insane. I, I did not ex anticipate it being such a repair and... <laughs> Look at this guy! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Look at this absolute champion stuck in the floor. He's just chilling. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Did I shoot you in the head? Oh, that sounded like a screamer.
Which health has he still got? Jesus. All the headshots. All the headshots. One day your head will explode. I know I'll be here to witness it. So close. Boom! There he goes. <laughs> and a level up. <laughs> As if I needed any more of that. Oh, that was nuts, dudes. That was nuts! Right. Do you know what, though? It worked! My anti... Uh, succubus cage was successful. The six blade traps, okay, went down to five. But even at five, it worked. It worked. It freaking worked, dudes. And um, I was, I'm, a, I'm a little bit sort of weirded out about why uh, they wouldn't come for me when I was in that room, only when I was either upstairs or in there. It was the only time they'd ever actually come up here. So I think there's probably a bunch of them still in the pit, actually. Probably. Look, look at these guys. It's freaking out. It's freaking out. They don't even know what they're doing. Hey! Jesus, you are speedy. Gun. Why are you so speedy? Sit down. Very speedy. Look at these guys. <laughs> ah, start off with the explosions. Got a bunch of dart traps. Darts actually on my hotbar. Everybody just realized. Never mind, whatever. Let's, um. Very little damage to him, despite a shotgun to the face every single time. 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 8,000, 1,000, 400, dead. The Pit of Doom. It's very good at trapping them, isn't it? Like a zombie prison in here. Easy, tiger. I like this shotgun. This is a good shotgun. It's a very, it's, yeah, it's very good at trapping them. Not so good at killing them, but uh, if they're stuck in there, then they're not respawning, you know what I mean? Um, right. Interesting. Let's have a little look around. Damage report, as it were. This was weird. They all gathered around this pillar, but it doesn't have a huge amount of damage on it. It's like they were gathering here, but not necessarily smacking on it. They got so confused at the beginning, I got really scared and worried. I was like, ah, oh, crap, I'm going to have to fix something and then restart the video. But, yeah, it was okay. Everything's intact. Pretty much. Minor damage. Minor, 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 minor. Ooh, the stairs. Now, this is where they really clumped up. What was that that was super damaged? Oh, that's just... Get rid of the, uh, let's get rid of the goop. All the goop, please. No goop, no goop. Yeah, this is where they really clumped up, and I had to basically stay on top of these blade traps so badly. They were piling up exactly on this spot here, which I assume the electricity traps are thank uh, are to thank for basically this big old pile up because the first ones here would stop. The ones behind it wouldn't be able to get past necessarily because of the first ones. First ones would move on to the second wire and the third wire and so on. Might meanwhile, there's a massive tailback now forming. They're starting to pile on top of each other and they're starting to hit the blocks above them. Uh, I didn't anticipate that. What I should have done is put maybe like some slope blocks above that heading this way, but then they would probably ended up jumping up here, I guess. And then they would have just run around or something, maybe. So, um, other than that, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Lost the blade trap, which out of six is not not bad at all because I was expecting to lose all six. Better to work through here slowly, uh, basically, and towards the sort of end of Horde Night, be breaching this last blade trap area and then coming for me. But uh, it turned out they got stuck and in, in, in that was fine. Um, and there we go. This is what... Oh, yeah, eat that straight away. Eat it. Nom, 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 nom. This is what the loot looks like at game stage four, 400 and something or other. Basically the same as the loot you get from game stage 100 and something, or 200 and something, I should say. It's no different, you know? Which is a shame, because if you start actually getting like any more energy cells and laser tech and stuff in the loot, then I think it would actually balance out quite nicely. Uh, but there it is. Okay. We did it, guys. We did a day 700 horde. And just to show game stage 1140... 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Level 190. Um, managed to take a friggin' punch from one of those demonic Bayamoth red dudes. And I'm quite proud of myself for doing that because I don't think any mortal being should be able to withstand a punch from one of those demonic knobheads. But uh, there it is. Um, loads of fuel still left in the generators. The two generators that I originally had here is still going strong. And the base held wonderfully, if I may say so myself. <laughs> Although the frantic back and forth of repairing uh, the, the blade traps, running away from succubuses and stuff like that, well... I tell you what, it all it all just means it was more interesting. Honestly. Yeah. And then they're jumping up here and stuff. But these um, these work pretty well. Apart from the fact that they could shoot back at me, but I really know how else to get around that. I was half expecting them when I one time when I pulled that up for them to all start springing out of it. <laughs> like a busted pipe. A spring of demonic bastards. There we go. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen. Darkness falls at day 700. That's what it's like. That's what the laser tech is like as well. It's uh, very powerful. Uh, do you know what? In the throes of Horde Night, when all the noise going on, it's impossible to tell without actually looking at my ammo counter all the way down there, whether it's actually shooting or not. This is the only, only sort of comment I might have about it. It's very quiet. There's no recoil, um, but it's very powerful. That thing is my favorite, though. The shotgun that just makes heads explode so beautifully. It's fantastic. Anyway, ladies and gents, I do hope you enjoyed this very special episode of Seven Days to Darkness Falls. That does mark the end of this series and the end of my adventures here in the Wastelands. So I do hope you enjoyed. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the Horde base. <laughs> yeah, it'd be interested to see. This is now like a, a good design, I guess, apart from that little bit there. So let me know. All right, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.